Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I just wanna show you how I make parts fit together. Uh, so when I print them, the eyes, all these little details, I can paint them separately and then fit them together. So first we have one of our fruit pudgies. You see, I only have one uh, little eye dot up here and one eye. That's because once I make the cuts, the cuts are gonna be the holes that are in this base shape that uh, the eye's gonna fit into. Uh, once I make the shapes that's gonna make the cut, I, chain, I mirror everything to this side. So that way I don't have to do it twice. You just do it once and then you uh, mirror it to the next side. So essentially, for example, this leaf, if we look at it solo, so this is gonna be our key because the key goes into the body. And if we just look at the body, the cut is gonna be the hole from that part. So that's gonna be the cut. So we have keys and cuts. You can take the body or take whatever your mesh is and then go here, whoops, go here to the materials and then go to blending and see how I have the opacity down to 0.5 or so. So now you can see through it and you can see these pieces. So when you make your pieces, you just have to make sure that you make them long enough so that they go in. And usually how I do that is once I make the shape and I want it longer, I'll just take select mask and like maybe make a rectangle. Whoops, tap on that, use select mask and then just use move and then you can do something like that you can clear the mask and then you can just trim it so then you have like a key something like that okay so this is going to be our key and if i want to make the cut i need to make this but bigger because i don't want to make the same space because it's going to be it's going to get 3d printed it's going to get primed painted things like that so you want to make this bigger so that the actual one will fit inside so all you do like this is the leafies right here so i'm just going to clone it now the clone, I'm also going to change to blending and I'm gonna turn that down. And I'm gonna rename this just so you don't get confused. This is Leafy's cut. So this is the cut. Here's our body and here's our cut. So make sure that you're on there. You can take your gizmo and you can make this bigger. See, and you can still see, you can see the white, you can see the lighter color. So you can see the other one, but you're still seeing through it. So that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. Um, and here it's still a little bit tri trial and error. Sometimes I move it down a little bit so that there's uh, enough space so it goes down a little bit. Um, so that's pretty much all you have to do to make the, make the cut. So you have the original one and then you have the cut one that's a little bit bigger. Make sure you change them back to opaque. And then I would do the same thing with the eye for say, for say, I don't know what that means. So I'll clone the eye. So now we have I1, and so let's say this is I1 cut. So now we have two of them. Again, I'm gonna change I1 cut to blending. I'm gonna turn it down with blending, and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So now you see there's like a little bit more space around it. If you turn on the side, you can kind of see. With something like this, I usually would push this in a little bit, but you have to be careful because if you push it into here and you 3D print it, if you push it in too far, then the opening is gonna be smaller than the big part of the eye. So you have to be kind of careful with that. Uh, sometimes if I, if I think that's gonna be a problem, then sometimes I will just, you know, you can make it a little bit bigger and then move it up. So you have more space uh, for this part to go in more so you can do that and you can actually just clone it. So then you can bring it down and you have more space for it to go in and you don't have to really worry about. Um, so now I have two of them. So these two, I'm just going to put them back to opaque and then join them as one. So we'll take the body, put it back to opaque. For the eye, we want a mirror on the opposite side. So we'll take the, we'll go to symmetry and right now you only want X. So we only want X because we want to flip from left to right. So we only want X and we want to go to world and then mirror right to left or left to right. This eye is now both of these. So we also have to do the same with the cut. Just make sure that you only have the X. So we'll go to world, left to right. Yep. Yeah. So that, so that's the cut. That's why it's bigger. You can see this is, the cuts are bigger. So since when we made the eye cut, 
we joined two of those uh, two of these shapes together. I just want to voxel remesh it uh, because sometimes it's weird if you try to do boolean and a shape is joined. So I'm just going to voxel remesh it. So then it's just uh, one shape. So then you want to take your cuts. So I'll just select them both, and then select the piece that you want to cut the cuts out of. So we're going to make the cut in the body. So we select all of those, and then we hide the parts that we want to subtract from the body. That's called a Boolean. So we want to hide the, the leafy's cut and hide the eye cut. So once we do that, we just go to the scene menu, hit Boolean, and then hit Boolean here. And see, so this made cuts where the eyes were. So if we pull them out, you see the cuts from the eyes. Here, we have the cut for uh, this piece. Of course, uh, I'll bring it into Slicer. I use Lychee. Uh, I bring it into the Slicer, and let's say uh, this is the Slicer. How I would set this up, pretty much, is I would probably just have them like this, like that. And then, you know, I would just have all the pieces where the parts that the supports are going to be on are facing up. So this I might actually bring over. I, I like to keep these small areas, to, these small parts together, even though they're a little hard to do on here uh, quickly, but just to give you like an idea. So I put all this stuff together like this and have it organized a little bit better than this, but just so you can see, I'd have everything set up like this and that's how it would get printed. All these parts would get printed and then uh, when I get it out, I will put them together. So I'll show you what it looks like uh, with something like this, with all the pieces and how they fit together. And here is the little guy that we were looking at. So let's see if we can put him together. So here are the little, these are the little round pieces that I made for eyes. So we'll put those in. And of course, eventually after I sand and smooth and paint, uh, these will all get uh, glued in. And there's actually some some pieces in the back there that are causing this to not go in all the way so i'm gonna have to like kind of break break up that uh that resin back there you can sort of hear it and that'll stick in like that so then you have the eyes and the eye dots i actually had to reprint because uh sometimes things are so small that they sort of get lost they're really tiny there we go, so that's one, there we go. Okay. So then the mouth goes in, the leaf part, which is looking real crazy. I'm gonna smooth all that out and paint it. That goes right in there. And here's the little piece. So this will look really great once it's all painted and cleaned up and smooth. And I put these in all my 3D projects. I always put these fruit pudgies. So I just wanted to make some, I have a little baby one here too. I really wanted to make some that I can put around places in real life. And that's the beauty of this process. So I'm gonna make sure these go back in here so I can start painting and processing these first. Come on. Okay, I'll we'll put them back in later. I don't know why I'm talking to my friends. And just so, since you're here, I'll show you the other ones. So this pumpkin, I think it is, oh, I think I have to do some drilling in order to make this uh, sit right, because it's supposed to sit in like this. It's supposed to fit like that. And these actually turned out really nice. May, you can see I made a little, a little divot in there, so I would know which way to put it in. Is this the right one? There we go. So this like that. So I'm going to sand all this, paint it, and it's going to look, it's going to look really nice. And all that stuff is a lot of work. So keep an eye on my shorts, <laughs> my shorts, my YouTube shorts, and I'll show you all the rest of that. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.